Hi guys, today we will see bacterial smear preparation. Aim to learn the proper procedure for preparing a bacterial smear. Requirements Bacterial culture A microscope Clean microscope slides Bibulous paper Inoculating loop and needle Sterile distilled water Bunsen burner Principle, a bacterial smear is a dried preparation of bacterial cells on a glass slide. In a bacterial smear that has been properly processed, the bacteria are evenly spread out on the slide in such a concentration that, they are adequately separated from one another. The bacteria are not washed off the slide during staining, and bacterial form is not distorted. Method In making a smear, bacteria from either a broth culture or, an slant or, plate may be used. If a slant or plate is used, a small amount of bacterial growth is transferred to a drop of water on a glass slide and mixed. The mixture is then spread out evenly over a large area on the slide. Look at the picture, since agar is solid medium, we have to take small quantity of bacterial growth and put one drop of water on a slide. Gently mix and spread evenly. If the medium is liquid, place one or two loops of the medium directly on the slide and spread the bacteria over a large area. Gently mix and spread evenly. Allow the slide to air dry at room temperature. After the smear is dry, the next step is to attach the bacteria to the slide by heat fixing. This is accomplished by gentle heating, passing the slide several times through the hot portion of the flame of a Bunsen burner. Most bacteria can be fixed to the slide and killed in this way without serious distortion of cell structure. Now, our smear is ready and it can be subjected to staining. Precautions when heat fixing a smear, always make sure that the smear is on the top of the slide as you pass it through the flame. Bacteria growing on solid media tend to cling to each other and must be dispersed sufficiently by diluting with water. If this is not done, the smear will be too thick and uneven. Always wait until the slide is dry before heat fixing. The inoculating loop must be relatively cool before inserting it into any broth. If the loop is too hot, it will spatter the broth and suspend bacteria into the air. Thank you so much. For more videos, subscribe to my channel.